Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Mennings. And in today's episode, I'm going to be doing some cargo running again in the Taurus. So, we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take the point and click the like button. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. Also, the code dropping down, if you use that when you create a new account, that will give you 5,000 credits on your new account and push me up in them rankings. So, yeah, so let's get into this one, guys. So, I was at, I was... I did a, a video recently on with the Taurus and Nefarious2870 uh, mentioned about going and getting gold. So I thought hey, it might be worth going to do this one. Now, normally I stay away from the gold because it's always empty and, and just doesn't seem like a, a viable option. But with a smaller ship it might not be so bad. So I'm going to head over to Dema. He did say over to my, my, head over to Microtech and I'll show you why in a minute when I look at the charts and show you guys the charts which i'll do now so there's a refresh rate and an amount of stock when you look at stuff so let me bring this up now so i'm over on on the um, uax corp i'll put the link in the description and what i've done is i picked gold here i picked my constellation taurus and i'm looking at this profit here now, he said to go to Microtech, but Microtech is going to, you're looking at around nine less. And if we sell it at area TDD, we're going to earn around 277 instead of 278. So we'll lose a little bit of money on that. But the reason he said about buying it at Microtech rather than Crusader is if we go over to SC Trade Tools here and we've selected gold, and you look here, the, the, the Microtech one has 800. SCU and, and a refresh rate of 24 a minute. Whereas the Shubin mining facility has only 500 and a 10 refresh rate per minute. So that's why the, the, he said about going to the SMO. But I needed to be over this way because I'd spent um, 100,000 on a mining head for a prospector that was rented. Not rented, but in the, in the free fly. And the free fly was about to be over, so I needed to take that mining head off and um, put it in my local at that area around this area so that I didn't lose the 100,000 mining head so that when I do buy my prospector I can um, use that mining head anyway so that's why I'm over at DMR so also there's um, it was mentioned in the same comments about um, Ghost Hollow around that area and people are sna and sna snaring people in that area so it's a more dangerous area to be so I'm just going to go to DMR, I'm going to hang around the terminal and just see how long it takes to fill up this ship, this Taurus. It's got 174, so it depends on how much is here when we get here and then a, a refresh rate of 10 a minute. So we, we could be looking at, you know, 17 minutes to half an hour or something like that. Refresh rate, depending on how many people are snagging it at the same time. So that's what we're going to be doing. And um, obviously I'll run, I won't have the way in the video I'll actually jump through as I'm picking it up and just see and then I'll let you know how long it takes and if we do make that profit back. So currently we are on, let me write this down, 2,252,000. So 2,252,000 and 201. And then we'll see what we have at the end once we've um, sold. So let's do this. There's an 890 jump here. Could be someone here already picking up stuff. It's got an 890 jump. And an Ajomida. There's always a few ships around here. It looks like a blue one there as well. Swing area. Fly landing again. Already open. There's always a lot of ships here. I don't know if people pad ram, um, pad ram here and that. I'm not sure. There is an 890 here. All these ships. I 
Now I could slow, slow down, press V, zoom in on that with my mouse wheel and scan. This thing here. So he hasn't got any stuff on board and there's a, it's like a, a ship heading in here. I don't know if he's landing here or not. Or whether he's fighting up there. That's not an issue, we're just gonna land here. Gonna maybe land this way. I'm on a little tonk there. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engines are off. They definitely need to do something about pad ramming if a lot of people are doing that. But I mean, look, I mean, there's. You can see a lot of stuff going on here. Twenty five SCU gold here. So that would have been a big chunk of it if my ship didn't blow up. Now I've got to go and get my ship again. My ship blew up. Install this instead. 
So I need to get out. I've got to put all the star. Get out my ship again. By him sent. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. C2 there. It looks like he's going to crash in that, whatever it is. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engines off. Thing is, is those might shoot in here, but they can't kill us. Like this straight course her here is an NPC. I don't know who the C2 is. It looks like he's about to go. He's about to go. It looks like there's been a few people here waiting around. So they may have took all the gold now. Soon see. And if they have, we just wait. Yep, all the gold is gone now. So the 25 that was here is now gone. So now I just have to wait, basically. If someone comes in the door, I go. I go on the, on the, go on to the console. So 30 gold now just turned up. So let's take that for sure. So that's 174k for that. 30 gold there. Come for that. So that's 30 done. I don't want to take the bell, so if somebody else is coming in, they can take the bell. This guy's gonna try to deliver this package. Realizes that he could jump in here. I 
Another 50 gold. We'll take that, definitely. It's going to cost us 291. So someone took some of the barrel. So again, now we just wait again. So we get another 50 next time, and then another 50 next time, that'd be good. So 73 SCU of gold again. Okay, we'll take that for sure. So we're now at 153. We can come off the console, let somebody else use it for a minute. If anybody else is in here. No. So 153, so we're only 21 away from a full load. It's pretty dangerous here because you can get pad rammed. There is somebody else around here. That white box is gone. Now, the, the question is... Was this worth it or was it just better to go and try and get Laronite from a different area and earn a hundred and odd thousand you know around a hundred thousand or something like that just in one load of Laronite and wait around for Laronite or was it better to to do this with the gold we'll find that out I'll, at the end what I'll do is I'll do a comparison with the Laronite and the refresh rate the Laronite also, the refresh rate was 20 odd over at Microtech with more stock available. So, um, if we'd have gone over to the Microtech area, it might have been better. Um, as um, Nefarious said. But I, I was over this area, so I wanted to try this area. Plus, with Ghost Hollow over there as well, I wasn't too, too keen on that. Because you're talking a million in stock probably that we've got once we fill up fully we're gonna have over a million in stock let's wait for this now too so when you get this where it's blank that it's just good to the sell and back to the buy and then it shows it Ship blow up. Was it mine? Ah, oh, we can get the gold now. Let's take that gold. Come on, come on, come on. We can go. Take the 21, confirm that. And it leaves the 50 left for somebody else to take. Cool. So we've got full gold now, 174 units. SEU. God knows what ship just blew up. Let's go out and investigate. messes out here now. So there's an MSR here. I don't know, that's actually an inferno, isn't it? There's that little ship thing there. Everything seems fine. Let's go. Has my ship moved? So my ship's moved.
share my, my ships over here. Maybe they did try blowing it up, but it didn't succeed. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I've got to go over to... Dropping my, mic, my pad on the floor. We've got, I've got to go over now to... Someone's radar locked me. So, boom, display. Bring up this. I've got to go over to area 18. That's where I've got to go to. Because that's where I'm going to get the best price. So, turn engines on. Turn engines on. Turn engines on. Yeah, don't turn engines on then. Turn engines on. Starting pre flight yes. protocols. All systems operational. So, area 18, I'm going to over here in that corp. Because that's where I'm going to get the best price. So I'll just set my route to Art Corp anyway. So I am one. Now I've got to figure out who's targeted me. Take off. Because someone's targeted me. Right, where's my marker? This Crusader. So they're going to try and attack me, basically. I reckon. We go. And then we go over to Arco. That request has already been granted. Vito. Affirmative. So here we go, guys. Going in two. Area 18. So we're about we're about one hour on this video now, hour 16. But I had to come from, I think, area 18 earlier over to Crusader to change that mining head. And then we had the problem with the um, ship blowing up. And I had to go and get another ship and, and wait that wait out time. So I reckon about 20 minutes was messing around. So we're probably looking at about an hour's, an hour's trip here. And um, as Ricardo says, you're normally looking at about 100,000 per hour. That's normally the, the rate you're looking at when you're doing stuff. 100,000 an hour. And so if we get over 200,000 for this, then in an hour's work, then it's definitely worth doing. It's a bit nerve wracking doing it because of the, you know, the, the, the time we're waiting, that someone could have um, turned engines off. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Somebody could have blown the ship up or pad rammed us or whatever. Pad rammed us. Uh, so it is a bit nerve wracking having a million worth of cargo on board and someone doing that. Uh, if we'd have gone over to Microtech, it might have been a bit quicker because of the refresh rate is twenty is, is over in you know double plus five. So whereas it's ten there, it's twenty four or something at the other place. At my microtech so could have been better there so if we can earn a hundred and you know if we can earn 200 200 thousand or 230 thousand or whatever we're going to get then is it worth it over in that hour over 
you're doing something like I said, Laranite. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do at the end here is I'm going to look at the, the the chart thing again and look at the re, the refresh rates of, of play, things like Laranite and that and see would it have been better just to do two runs of Laranite, three runs of Laranite, um, as opposed to doing just this one run and waiting. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. So here we go. So after I got my ship out, which cost me 8,000, because it blew up, I had 2,244,000. Uh, 2, so let's see what we get. 2,244,000. 174 units. I'm gonna sell for 1.311 million. Confirm. Set. Let's back off because the balance at the top here is not the same. You have to back off. Let's have a look. So we've got 2,535,000. So 2,535,000. Let's see what we get. 2,535,000. So let's punch that into the calculator. You've probably already done the maths already, guys. Oh, here we go. 2,500,000. 35,941 minus 2,244,241 equals 291,740. So just short 292,000. So you would have to make three runs of Laranai for that same amount. So we did that in an hour. We did short of 300,000, just short of 300,000 in an hour. We just had to wait around, it was a bit dangerous. It could have maybe been a little bit faster. We probably would have earned 1,000 less if we'd have gone to Microtech, but the Microtech area was faster at replenishing and stuff like that. So let's bring up the, let's bring up the SC Trade Tools. Now, if I'd have gone for Laranai, and say we get it from the two best places. So say we got it from 56 and sold it at Lawville. We're looking at 103,000 at the best. So let's pick here. So we look, we know with, with these, the, the rate, we're looking at around 300,000 for an hour or close to 300,000 for an hour. So let's look at Laranai at the refresh rates. So best place to buy is 56 and then from there we're going to 45 and then Tim and Myers so looking at what what the stock is so 56 where you're going to get the best price is only 500 and then it's five of min five a minute there's 500 here and then 20 a minute so we're looking at around the same as what the gold is for the refresh rates but then you've got a thousand here at the Bezdek ones so this is going to be around the same as the uh, refresh rate as the uh, gold. So if we choose that one and that one, we're looking at 100,000 as opposed to 300,000. And if we go to 45, we're looking at 92 as opposed to 300,000. And so that's with that same refresh rate. But if we look at the Lathan and Bestet, so we're looking at 75,000, but there's, there, there's a thousand there, so there's probably more chance of it being there. And then 13 per minute, so around the same again around the same as the gold but there's just a little bit more stock whereas with the gold there's 800 and 500 so 500 so around the same so it's definitely better going for the gold because you're going to be uh, getting the you could be looking at 300,000 but the, the thing is with the gold there's only two places you can get it and there's that people could pad pad ram you and also if you're in the Microtech area you've got the ghost hollow nearby where people are just interdicting people and killing them so that's that's that. I, you tell me your thoughts on it. I mean, that was a good that was a good one. So thanks to Nefarious two eight seventy for that. That was um, definitely I think was worth it. Three hundred thousand in an hour, definitely worth it. And uh, yeah, so that's this that's this video, guys. We hope you like this video. 
And if you did like this video, don't forget to take that punch and tickle the like button. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. And check out the description for the Discord link. And if you want to help the channel out further, um, there's uh, also a membership button there where you can join and help out further as well. So yeah, so we hope like that one, guys. And um, hopefully you learned something from it. Thanks to Nefarious for that. And um, yeah, that was a good. That was a good one. I enjoyed that one.